I don't know where the years have gone because it seems five minutes since you showed up in the paddock with your backpack on, looking like a Still student. Have the backpack. <laughs> <laughs> looking like a student skiving a day off uni or something. But you've now done over 220 races. Yeah. You've won nearly a quarter of the races you started. You've been on Not the enough. podium more than half the races you started. Well done. Incredible. Thank you. No, I mean, I, I, I think um, I, I, I never imagined, you know, I don't think you can even, even dream that big um, to have achieved so much. Um, but as always, you know, it doesn't stop there. You want more. So. Uh, in this regard, I am greedy and, uh, you know, I want more. I want uh, to win with Ferrari, win the championship. Let's talk about you. You don't do social media. We don't know much about you. What kind of guy are you? Well, I don't know what you know about the others, so... Um... Well, we know you like playing backgammon with Bernie Eccleston. You like British comedy, there classic, you know, you know... classic motorcycles. There you know an awful lot then. So what but else do you need to you... know? But I, you... just, I just can't um, identify with a generation that wants to share everything at all times. I mean, it's not that I have something to hide, not at all. Uh, I think many people would, or probably are thinking of a life of a Formula One driver as a lot more exotic than my life is. But I actually like to have a normal life. I think I would qualify as a normal life, leading a no or living a normal life. But I don't have the desire to share. Why? I mean, I don't get the I, I don't get the point. Why you need to tell people what you are doing? Oh, look, look what you know. How, how great his life is. How great her life is. I don't think that's. that's I can't see you though with a spanner in your hand and an oily rag on a classic motorcycle. Is that your hobby? Is that your passion? Yeah, I'd love to get more time though because it's uh, it's always a bit. Um, I find it difficult when I'm at work doing fixing something and then obviously you leave it for a week or two or three or. A month and then you come back and it takes you some time to get back into it so it's very slow progress but I, 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 I enjoy that a lot just to yeah fix stuff and I love hiking I love nature I love you know seeing things but mostly I don't know reaching points or places by myself on the bike I don't know just be mobile yeah are you a good bloke do you put the top back on the toothpaste do you close the toilet lid do you empty the dishwasher <laughs> Yeah, I do the dishwasher every now and then. Um, I close the toothpaste. Uh, <laughs> the toilet, maybe it's a bit too uh, private. I wouldn't, I wouldn't uh, how do you say, I wouldn't um, post a picture of that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We know you've got many years left in Formula One at the wheel now, but do you, do you fancy being a commentator like me or a team boss like Matteo? Mm, commentator, no. I don't know. I, I, I know that I'm sometimes quite wordy <laughs> but uh, no i leave that i think yeah i don't have that skill ultimately um team boss i don't know i i think uh, i think as a driver especially when you are driving or when you are active you probably underestimate because you don't see how much work is involved behind the scenes because drivers i think we are quite lucky we get in and out sort of our rhythm is in and out um so uh, you don't get to see all of the job um, so what we what you see is not not the full story the trouble is you miss the adrenaline rush you get hooked on adrenaline yeah yeah that would be difficult I guess it was difficult for you when you retired just that <gasps> yeah just that that need for speed in a way and the adrenaline so I think it's important if you stop then to find something that sort of replaces it you'll never get the full thing but what will your legacy be to Formula One I don't I don't care I don't I don't need a legacy. I think especially nowadays the world is moving so fast. I don't think it will be remembered. <laughs> but I'm not sad about it. I th just think that it's good as well. It's good to move on. I'm not against, as much as I love tradition and I'm a traditionist, uh, I'm against being stuck in a moment or era. I think it, it's good to go on. It's good to go forward. We have to. So I hope that I'm, I'm, that, I'm, I'm when I'm older, when I'm your age, I hope that I'm progressive you see what I mean moving forward and not yeah looking back let's play F1 Monopoly you know the game Monopoly where you trade yeah. properties would you trade two of your existing world championships for one more world championship with Ferrari no <laughs> maybe I'm a bad dealer but uh, uh, yeah no I wouldn't because I'm convinced that I uh, you know I can win with Ferrari so you're gonna win it anyway you're gonna win exactly the no, re no, no need to trade <laughs>